my job is a lot more uh, the things that people don't really see, the things that people don't even know exist sometimes. And last but not least, Everton, which is the epitome of uncertainty, let's be honest, you know, we've had three years of, of, of chaos. One of my biggest bugbears is pseudosciences that perpetuate in first team football, in all of football in fact. It was impossible to do high pressure with that team. Impossible by the players that were there. But because that was the main idea from the coach and he wanted to show to everyone that uh, was possible to do, it didn't work. I find it really interesting. I think it had a very strong start with Tom uh, from uh, Right to Dream. Uh, I think it was nice to kind of ground everybody. I think in football you can get carried away with the, the money and the, the high performance level and it was nice to bring it back down to community. I mean there's been a, a few talks that I found specifically interesting. Really getting interested in some new neuroscience and cognitive measurements and so that was really interesting. Also just the panels are always great to get a feel for how the same role or the same type of role looks different at different clubs in different contexts. It's invaluable to see that, isn't it? And realise how varied it can be, you know? It's great. I mean, you, you meet so many different people from so many different clubs, first and foremost, but then from different industries as well. Um, we all kind of have the same sort of processes, but listen to, to guys and communicating and then connecting to hopefully, you know, having further communications down the line has been, has been brilliant. I love this image and have it frozen at home as well, just to remember why we got into it, how we felt at that point.